Uh, just a little update. Uh, I got this charcoal grill the other uh, ga charcoal gas grill the other day, and uh, mine's got a heat shield. And uh, I used to have a little portable grill before I got that full size one over there. And I got right outside my door because I don't want to run up down steps if I'm cooking something. Because usually if I'm cooking something, I'm gonna be in and out of the house. Uh, I made that little platform years ago because uh, I don't have no <laughs> ports to speak of. Y'all get the idea. Uh, just real quick. But I cut these grates down because they seem to fit pretty good. And I'm going just a little bit lower, so I might have to. Uh, Tack them together, but uh, I don't know. It might be all right just like that. But I think what I do is I tack weld them together. Uh, maybe I'll cut this part out over, kind of slightly overlap them and tack them together. But that's gonna be my lava rock grate. Uh, I used to have a little cheap tent shield and I made this one out of some angle iron that I re-bent the sides so the flame wouldn't come over it but it, it just ain't been that perfect and, and uh, yeah the heat just seems to be peeling layers of rust off of it over time so that's going in the scrap metal pile but I'm going back to lava rocks uh, I believe I got enough. If I don't, I'll get more. But I've been thinking about doing this for a while, so. Yep, yeah, that's how that goes. I'm going to go back to the old lava rocks, I think. And, uh, the cooking area was the same surface. Same size. So I'm not really losing anything. That grill's maybe a little bit. It might be a little bit taller. I don't put nothing big in there like a roast, like a turkey or nothing. But uh, I'll stick with this one for a while. I like this. But I got a backup grate. But I kind of like that one. So anyway, yeah. And okay, I gotta change this transaxle out, and then I'll be rolling again. I'm probably gonna look at this one and see if I can lock it, but I just want to get rolling again. I ain't gonna try to lock the other one. I want to get one in there that's working, and then look at this one. Cause if I ruin the other one and this one ain't no good, I'm S O L, and I think y'all know what that means. Blank out of luck. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna put this one. Oh. Do old swap a roo and uh, yeah, I was gonna fix my mower hoist, but I'll do that later. This will be good enough to work on it. Yeah, so I'm gonna get started on it. Catch y'all a little bit later. Okay, still gotta connect up my pedal brake, and those brakes seem to work real good. This is a uh, Spicer. Uh, this foot is what I had in here, and it got full of water. Anyway, I still got to connect up my shifter. It's kind of floating up there. Uh, yeah, the belt keeper looks like it's in a pretty good uh, alignment with it, I hope. If it isn't, I'll bend it a little bit, or I might have to cut it and readjust it. But I'm going with that uh, welded up pulley from tractor supply. It uh, runs a little deeper in the uh, pulley which is like putting on a smaller pulley, so I'm going to need a smaller belt, and I'm getting ready to size that up now. So anyway, uh, I'll show you a little bit more how I do this. I do it a little different than uh, Murray Mayhem. He does it by marking it with a marker. I go ahead and tie it up, and uh, I take it to the uh, place I go. They got a belt sizer, and uh, I leave it I should have showed you before I cut it, but last time I got a belt, I just uh, 
I keep it put together and he says okay I either got one you know with an inch or a half inch this way or that way and uh, you know I say okay I go smaller I go a teeny bit larger and it works out pretty good for me but I'll show you more okay I got my belt set up like I want it took a while I had to pedal lock down I don't have a lock on it like a reason it comes with it but anyway that's basically how I do it and uh, I'll reach I'm not going to put it back on so a lot of times I'll put a, a, a tie there to make sure it doesn't slip but I, it ain't going to slip I'm just going to this is going to be the tape to the uh, the man uh, to get me a belt sized up so uh I've got a tractor supply, but they don't have a, a, a belt sizer. And you really need a belt sizer. I mean, I've seen people hold them together, you know, like that and all, but uh, you really need a belt sizer. All right. So, I'm going to go get me a, a red belt. <laughs> I have no idea how long this is. I'm going to let him worry about that. But I'm ready to go now. I'm glad I didn't go leave the house. I got a bunch of belts laying around. And, uh, anyway get these lined up pretty close side by side together I mean uh, this belt is just slightly longer by just a teeny bit so I'm going to try it might not have to go buy a belt I got plenty of belts. So anyway, see what happens. All right, I need y'all's help. I put in this tack, and uh, it's got different settings. One says uh, fires every revolution, twice per revolution, and every other revolution. And I got 24 horse V twin Briggs. So I need to know what to set this tack on. But don't worry about that later. Getting some romping. Yeah, just put that in the comments if you don't mind. My next deal is a, this governor just it don't act like I want it to that's why I put the tack on there so remove governor separate choke separate throttle might even go foot throttle uh, I don't know I'm thinking about it anyway more to come
at a later date. That is it for this video. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for rate, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll catch you later. Get out there and build something. Fix it. Modify it. You learn by doing.